creating a bootable operating system for bootable ISO files uh, is actually pretty simple using a tool called Rufus. So you can see the address here uh, for you, Rufus. Go ahead and click on here and we're going to download this uh, 3.1.8. Once it gets downloaded, let's go ahead and open this, this file and we're going to get started on converting this. You'll be prompted to uh, allow it to start, which you're going to hit yes. Once you do this, let's go ahead and check for updates. And now we're going to create a bootable drive. Now we're going to have to use the actual drive image here. We're going to have to select it um, and be able to um, so that we can make this bootable ISO USB drive. So stay, stay tuned, we're gonna jump right to how to do this. So you can see here, it's found the drive that we want to configure. It's really, really, really important that you confirm that this is the right drive because it's gonna format this drive. So make sure that you're good to go. I have gone ahead and done that. Here you can see here under this PC, I'm gonna to go to that drive, see recovery D, and notice here that there's nothing on there. There's actually a recovery from another backup. So that's good. Just make sure that it's not your live data. Also, if you hold your mouse over it, see how it says SanDisk Cruiser Glide USB? That's what I'm actually using. So we're good to go there. Now we want to create this disk or ISO image. We're going to select it. So we're going to select here and find that image. In this case, we're going to do this image right here, which is XP Professional, and we're just going to hit open. Notice here also that it says ISO image. That's good. We want to hit OK. Then it's going to go ahead and scan this and give us a volume label. Honestly, I usually don't touch anything here. I just accept the defaults. We do want it to be NTFS. We want it here for the volume name. You can change it. I'm not going to, I just leave it as is. And then notice here at the bottom, it says that we're gonna be doing this. You really can't get much more of a view here, but you can see that it's it's targeting this Windows XP um, 3, uh, Service Pack with Service Pack 3. And here, we're gonna go ahead and hit our target system. We want this to be the master boot. There's not much options here that we can select from. So it's really pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and hit start. Now. Here, again, we want to do that gut check. Make sure that that drive has nothing on it that you want because it's going to erase literally everything. We're going to hit OK. It's going to delete everything on there, and then it's going to go ahead and create this bootable drive. When we get done, we're not going to wait for it on this video because it does take some time. But it's a pretty simple process. There's nothing to be afraid of. Just make sure that you... Um, just make sure that you, you know, double check and triple check that this is the device that you want to reformat because this is permanent. It 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 um, <laughs> it is what it is. So just make sure that you'll see here that it's going to copy over the image. It's actually a pretty fast process. Notice here that it's extracting in I eighty six, for example. So it's literally creating what you would have on a CD if you were to burn a CD to boot a system from. Now once this gets done for the computer that you're trying to restore, in this case I'm building a computer with with um, with XP, Windows XP. I'm just going to stick the drive into a USB slot and then I'm going to go to the boot menu. Now I happen to be working on a Dell um, a Dell machine right made by Dell computer and I believe the command is either F2 or F11 or F12 something like that but look as the system boots it's gonna say hey where do you want how do you want to boot and then you just select that you're gonna boot from this USB drive that you've already created and that's about as simple as it is to use Rufus and to create a bootable USB drive good luck